Hey Taurus, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time, okay? Just keep in mind, it's general. Don't force a message to fit your situation, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody is taking care of themselves out there. Taurus, we're going to go ahead and start on your reading. Thank you guys for your love and your support on this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Let's go ahead and see what your messages are at this time, okay? Okay, so I have the contract card, okay? Every time I see this card, this is like, this is something you're committing yourself to, okay? This could be a business um, situation. This could be um, romance. But there's something here that you're giving your all to, okay? Some of you are hesitant, though. So maybe you're considering... Um, binding yourself to this the garden and the gate card here is a hesitation card for me okay angel of strength the thinking man yin and yang anxiety so i definitely feel like there's a lot of stress around this situation for some of you um which is why you're holding back but this is this is something new okay um this is a new it's like you're walking through a new cycle once you sign this or once you commit to this, this is a new step. Okay, and it does take a lot of strength for you to, I don't know if you have commitment issues with this situation, but I feel like, you know, you could be really overthinking or, you know, you just want to make sure you're making the right decision or the right move, all right? Um, but this brings in a lot of balance. With this six card, this is the number six. There's a lot of balance in this contract. Okay, whatever that is for you. But it's not easy to sign it. Okay, so let's start to pull some cards. I just want to see more about this message. Spirit, can you tell me more about this for the collective April 2021? What is this about? What's going on? We need to know. The chariot. <laughs> I feel like this is so serious. Like the chariot is here. We have this contract here. Things are starting to pick up. There's a lot of movement. The magician is here. Major arcana coming out. What else here? The page. Oh no, the princess of water. Okay. The princess of water is like the... The Knight of Cups in Tarot. Okay. Um, this definitely could have something to do with a relationship. Okay. Something that you've manifested and things are starting to pick up. Okay. You could be dealing with a Cancer. I also have Gemini, Virgo. Or you could be any of these signs. Um, water energy is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of, what is this, King of Earth, which is like the, the King of Pentacles. Pull one more. Three of Pentacles. At the bottom, I see the Star card, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit. Everything is moving so quickly, and I feel like this is definitely something you've manifested. Um, but it feels like you have to continue to think about whether or not you want to accept this. These are brand new changes coming for you and it just, it's, it might be hard for you to wrap your head around this or it might be hard for you to fully grasp whatever this is for you. For some of you, it could have to do with your finances with this king of earth here. Work could be going really well. You could be doing something that you love to do and you're making money for that. Okay, you're getting recognition at work, but a lot of, um... Quick changes are happening in your life, all right? You have public recognition for your work. Wow. And there's a contract here. But it's good news. I feel like it's good news. And it just feels like because it's so no new, you don't know how to accept it or you're having difficulties, like, signing this. Okay, it, this brings in a lot of happiness, though. 
with this princess of water it says sensitive open-hearted inexperienced okay so it's like i've never experienced these feelings before i never had these emotions moody messages or it says moody messages regarding relationships um new emotional experiences a romantic encounter social invitation or events heightened psychic abilities so spirit can you tell me more about this um princess of water energy tell me more about this thank you the strength card is here and the sun so this is heavy leo energy coming through but this is telling me there's a lot of happiness with the sun card a lot of abundance a lot of positivity but it's hard there's hesitation behind, like underneath this energy you're hesitating to accept this This is a real deal. Ace of Cups, the Empress. Everything is in a yeah. Everything is in alignment. You feel connected to the spirit, but it's like, why is it hard for you to take this? I feel like you're this offer. Why? Why is what is the struggle, spirit? I, that's, I'm having a trouble. I'm having trouble understanding what the struggle is. Ten of Pentacles here. Is family in the way? I don't know. Page of Swords. Tell me more about this. Page of Wands and the Moon. King of Pentacles is back here. This person wants to settle down. This person is serious about settling down. Maybe having a family with you. You know, maybe you're focused at work or you're shining at work or that you're just focused on working, but you have somebody coming in that possibly has been watching you with this page of swords here but this person is serious about building and about having something stable with you this definitely could be marriage okay with this contract card and this king of pentacles here this is a very stable energy coming towards you a stable partnership this person wants i, I, I feel like it's catching you off guard because it's kind of catching me off guard like what the hell I didn't know it was coming in this fast. That's what you could be saying when this person comes towards you. This person is very clear and very um, direct about what they want. And this is what you've manifested. But I feel like maybe because it comes in unexpectedly, very quickly, you're hesitating. Okay? Spirit, can you tell me more? What are, can you... Okay, what else do we need to know about this message, Spirit? What else does uh, the collective need to know? What else do we need? Thank you. Keys on a ring. Okay, so some of you could have options. You know, a lot of you could have options. You got options. Is this the one you want to commit to? Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. Okay? Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, this is a stable offer. This person is not playing. So I would just advise you to be honest. Okay? This person knows what they want. I don't feel like it, you know, this person could be older than you. More established, possibly. You could just be getting started in your own career. But this person is, it could be well off. Alright? With all this earth energy. This person could be um, financially stable. They could have, you know... Everything in place financially. Spirit, what else does a collective need to know about? Thank you. Girl talk. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah, so you can be out here having fun, just enjoying yourself. You got options, you got people in your inbox. You know, life is pretty good. Work is looking really nice. And then. There's this offer here. There's this There's this contract. There's somebody who wants to tie themselves to you in a very major way. They want to work with you. This person wants to build with you. Okay, yeah, see? See, some of you guys have commitment issues. Some of you, like, the, even though I feel like this is something you've been asking for, that's the thing that I'm kind of... I mean, I guess I understand, like, maybe you didn't realize it was going to come in this quickly, but it's here. Um, wedding rings, 
union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. The camera card came out. This one says reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Anything else, Spirit? The collective. Thank you. Karmic relationship. Look at this. I have karmic relationship, and then I have the twin flames card here. This is serious. This <laughs> What are you going to do? I don't know. Karmic relationship. It says fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay? Yeah. For some of you, um, you know, you had to just focus on yourself for a while. Some of you had to let go of a relationship in your past and you just focus on yourself. And then you're connecting to something or someone that's a lot more serious, more stable. You have a lot of stable energy coming towards you. And I feel like this person, um, they're very clear about what they want. This person wants to commit to you. And maybe some of you are not in the um, energy to do so. You hesitate. Okay? Spirit, can you tell me more about this person? This is someone that you've manifested, though. This is what you've been asking the universe for, but you're struggling to accept it. It's scary. I feel like it's terrifying. I just seen the full card here. This is someone who's not playing games, and you've asked for somebody who's not playing. Like, I want someone who's serious. I want somebody who knows what to do with me. That kind of energy. And you got what you asked for. <laughs> and now it's like, I don't know. Like, should I take it? You know, you could be dealing with someone else right now because you do have options, okay, with this keys on a ring. You do have people around you, many options, um, and there's this one offer, this one option. Tell me about this. So I want to clarify this person. I want to get some more energy on them. Okay, Spirit, can you tell me more about this person that the collective is connecting to, this stable energy? Can you tell me more, Spirit? Queen of Swords. Page of Cups. This person is extremely serious. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to beat out the competition. This person is not playing any games. So it's like... <laughs> so you have options, okay? With this Five of Wands here. You have people that could possibly be fighting for your attention. Okay? Maybe at work. Because I do feel like for some of you at work, you're doing really well you're shining you're being recognized for your work okay so you do have like people shooting their shot at you okay this person i feel like they know this because they watch you okay so maybe you work online or you have a um <clears throat> online presence this person is aware of that in order for them to beat the competition they have to throw something at you that these people are not okay which is like marriage, which is, okay, let me commit to you. I'm focused on only you. This person is coming in with a very sincere offer, very direct, very um, straight to the point. Like, I'm not just dating you to date you. I'm trying to date you to get to know you so that I can see if we can get married. That kind of energy. Or for some of you, this person is like, I've been watching you for a minute. Can we go ahead <laughs> Can we get married? Like, it might not come out like that, but that's the energy that I'm feeling. So I see the hesitation. I understand it. Like, I don't... Do you know this person? I don't feel like you know this person. So it can feel a little, um... Nerve-wracking, yeah, to take this or accept this offer. Can you tell me more about this person? They're serious, though, with this offer. They want to make you happy. Tell me more, Spirit, about this person that's connecting to the collective. Three of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Three of Cups. <laughs> Look at this. They already have it made up that you are their person. It's very clear then. I feel like it's very easy, this person is saying. I don't have to guess. I know I want you. This person is not playing at all, at all, at all. This person is very serious. Okay, um, let's see. What else does the collective need to know about this message? So what else do you need the collective 
to know. Okay, so the magician card is here. You definitely manifested this person into your reality. It's a stable person. They could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could really be all of the signs. Um, but I feel like this person is very clear. I'll say that. Very direct, very straightforward. They know what they want. Okay, um, Spirit, what else do you need the collective to know about this message? Trust your instincts, trust your intuition. Okay, listen to your listen to your um intuition first because this is a general reading, so I'm just picking up on like an overall energy. There's gonna be details and everybody's situation is different, you know. Um, I'm just picking up on somebody who's very clear about what they want. Alright, but listen to your instincts first. Listen to spirit. Listen to any messages, any signs that you're getting. Okay. Five of swords. Yeah, you're getting... Yeah, you're... <laughs> this is really nice. Okay, we have the five of swords and then the ace of pentacles came out. Whatever you lost in your past, whatever past relationships that failed or past people that did not work out in your best interest, that's being replaced with something new, something stable. This earth energy cannot leave this, <laughs> this reading. Like There's a lot of stability in what's coming towards you, and it's new. So don't stress it. Try not to stress it. Listen to your intuition. Don't feel like... Um, don't allow the past to hold you back. Don't allow stress to keep you stuck. I'm telling you, I am telling you. Let me see if I have um, the the Queen of Pentacles came out. We already have the King of Pentacles. Look at this. There is a stable relationship coming your way, and this is long lasting. This is the one that you've been asking for. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, what else do we, what else do we cover? Should I come here? Uh, okay, let's see. All right, collective. Sorry about that interruption. Um, but I'm going to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle card and see what else here has to say about this message for you, okay? What other advice? All right, so can you tell me more about this message for the collective? What else do they need to see? Okay, it says to be fair. Yeah, look at this. A lot of balance, a lot of stability. It feels like your love life, your financial life, like your career life, everything is starting to balance out. There's a lot of brand new beginnings coming towards you with the sun and this pinnacles here, this ace of pinnacles. Um, but there's a need for you to stop living in the past or don't allow the past to restrict you or keep you stuck you're leaving the past okay let the past stay in the past leave the past in the past let bygones be bygones let go of guilt let go of resentment let go of the people that have hurt you because i feel like that's something that's holding you up from this rebirth that spirit is trying to offer you you have um it's like you're being given a brand new life or a brand new beginning in your life, okay? There's a lot of happiness surrounding your life right now, but there could be something here in your past or a past person that's stunting your growth or stopping you from realizing that you deserve whatever is coming towards you, okay? All right, collective, um, I really do hope that this was a helpful reading. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe. Uh, right now, I'm not taking personal readings, but once I get started, I will let you guys know. And take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.